Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nikki and I am back again with another video for you today. Happy New Year, it's 2021 and I have come back with a bang. I am, once again, this year I did the same thing in 2020, teaming up with one of my favorite hair tool brands on the planet and that is my friends over at Lena. If you go back to 2020, the first video I posted was a video doing a review and tutorial of their Genie Curl, I had to think of what the name was, but it's an auto curling wand. I will link the video below. It's performed very well over the past year, so I'm thankful to anyone that's watched that video, and if you haven't yet, definitely check that one out after this one because this brand is so slept on. They have such incredible, innovative hair products, and I'm totally in love. The Genie Curl and then this one I'm talking about today, they speak for themselves. You don't even need me to convince you. You will see in the tutorial that I post today just how good it is. I'm gonna talk about the specs, tell you a little bit about the product, and then I will leave a time code below for when the tutorial itself starts. In case you already know what this product is and you just wanna see me use it, you'll be able to click below and go straight to that. But let's get into the product we are discussing today, and that is the Air Plus Styler. All right, I'm gonna pull up some of my information about it so that I don't mess anything up. I wanna make sure I'm very clear about what this is. It's from the future, honestly, that's how it feels. This is the Lena Hot Air Brush Dryer and Volumizer. So essentially what this thing does is you use it on wet or dry hair and it will blow dry your hair, it will straighten your hair, it will give it volume, like flips, I think they call them, smoothing. Um, essentially it's an at-home blowout provider. <laughs> so, I don't know about you guys, but I always love getting a blowout at the hair salon. I always feel like a million dollars, like a Victoria's Secret angel, and then I'll wash my hair and it's gone, and I have no idea how to do that for myself. So, I talked to my friends over at Lena and got the Air Plus Styler, and I can now give myself an at-home blowout. I mean, who doesn't want that? Hello? So this comes in both green and pink. It's available on Amazon. It will obviously be linked below for you to purchase. Get yourself an Air Plus Styler. So just to read a little bit about it for you guys, um, it is a duo heating system of ceramic heated bristles and wire heated air blow for drying while styling. It straightens, smooths, volumizes, and flips your hair for you for the perfect combination of a hair dryer and a brush iron straightener. You'll see in the tutorial, it's exactly what it is. There's four different settings. Well, there's three settings, but I'm gonna refer to them as two through four because the first setting is off. So that's off here. And then there's a hair dryer, a hair dryer, and a straightener, and a straightener. So you'll see in the clips later, I refer to those as like setting two through four. Um, this is the perfect, perfect styling experience from features that differ from this item as other hot, hot brushes on the market. I completely agree with that. This one is unique, has unique ceramic heated bristles for very fast straightening with uh, like smoothing qualities to it. It's lightweight, ergonomic. All this is absolute facts. Um, and yeah, it just it will you know it can heat your hair, it can keep your health really your hair really healthy because of the way that it uses um, infrared and what is it? I know the answer to this. It's infrared rays and negative ions, um, which is just a fancy term for the way that it heats your hair. If you've heard about like tourmaline and ceramic and all the different ways, obviously heat can be very dangerous. Not dangerous, that's dramatic, but like heat can be very bad for your hair, but this product does it right, so it's safe and it's good, it's easy to use. You also cannot hurt yourself. It's off right now, but these don't heat to a point where you can burn yourself, which is always awesome. You'll see I'm like literally touching the thing in the tutorial. No problem there, you don't have to worry. Um, okay. Let me talk to you guys about the three different settings that it has, which are gonna be settings two through four in my tutorial. And then I will pop right on in to the tutorial itself and I'll come back for some final thoughts at the end of the video. So the three settings on this baby are the ones that I was mentioning just before. The first one here is called low speed air. This is just air, just the hair dry setting. It's used for drying, straightening and styling your hair. The second one is the high speed air and hot air brush. So this one is a hair dryer, like a high, um, you know how like hair dryers sometimes have settings where it's like low and high. This is like the high setting of the hair dryer that also heats up the bristles for like extra straightening. And this is for drying, heating, it uses the infrared ray and negative ion functions together um, to help style the hair. And that's at 356 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Um, and then the last setting here is no air dry at all, so no blow dry setting. It's just the heated bristles, so essentially like a, like a straightener, like a flat iron. And this is, um, again, infrared and negative ions. They heat together to style and finish the hair at 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Love to see it. So the biggest thing is that second setting with the high air dry hair, uh, la, 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 high blow dry and heated bristles. You only want to use that on wet hair. It's just too much for dry hair. It's not necessary. You're going to break and frizz your hair all up. You don't need to be doing that. So you're going to use that setting first if your hair is wet. Once your hair starts to dry, you can turn it down to just the blow dryer, and then when your hair is completely dry, go ahead and straighten it out and give it the flips and the curves that you want from your blow dry, um, your blowout desired look. You'll see all of that in the tutorial if that's not clear, but obviously, as always, you guys can like leave me comments and interact with me below if you have any questions about this baby. It's super easy to use. I'll go ahead and let you hear the three settings. This is um, just the blow dryer. And then the blow dryer and the, the heated setting is like a higher blow dryer, so you'll hear it sounds a little louder. And then the last setting is no sound at all because it's just the heated bristles. All right, hopefully that is all good, you guys. If you have any questions, you let me know. Like I said, green and pink available on Amazon. This thing is the bomb. Um, let me get right into it. Let me show you how this bad boy works. All right, let's get right into the tutorial. Anytime I'm using heat on my hair, the first thing I'm gonna do is a heat protectant spray. This one I love because it's actually a blowout spray. It's supposed to help style your hair faster and easier. It's from Living Proof. It's the Style Lab blowout spray. So I am just gonna put that all through my, my hair very generously, honestly. I have a lot of hair, so why not? And then I'm gonna take a wide tooth comb and brush through it. It's another tip of mine. I only ever use a normal hairbrush, like a wet brush right before I'm getting in the shower to wash my hair, just to comb out the knots. Any other time, I'm gonna use a wide tooth comb. I think it's a lot healthier for your hair. It's just better for it in general. So I'm going to comb through that spray and make sure that it's evenly dispersed throughout my hair. And then I'm going to section my hair off. I do this, um, I use the Air Plus Styler in two sections of my hair because it's thick and it's just easier, but if you have thin hair, it should be fine to do it in one because um, the bristles are pretty like long. So I am going to take a comb and section it off. I'm just kind of clip it on top of my head. Look a little funny. And now, I, now that I have it sectioned off, I am going to use that high speed air and hot air brush setting because my hair is wet. This is for drying, heating, and it uses the infrared ray and negative ion functions to work together to help dry and straighten your hair at the same time. Okay, so I do want to correct myself. When I had said that the high speed air and hot air brush was the highest setting at 356, it's actually wrong. That is the second to highest setting, um, which is totally fine. So the fourth setting here, which is essentially just like a, a flat iron, like a straightener, um, because it doesn't use any of the air. There's no hair drying setting in that part. That actually does go up to 410, which is honestly great because a lot of people do um, straighten their hair at 400 and something degrees. So that setting is only to be used on dry hair, which I will do at the end. You'll see that and that's for styling. But now that my hair is mostly dry down here, I'm gonna switch from this third setting, which is the hot, high speed air and hot air brush, um, which is essentially 
blow drying and these heat up, so blow drying and straightening at the same time. And now I'm gonna switch it down to the second setting or the first setting, which is, the first setting is off, so the second setting here is the low speed air, which is um, only a hair dryer. So low speed air only, which is used for drying, straightening, and styling the hair. The biggest takeaway from here is this second setting, the, the setting that has the hair dryer and the heating is only for wet hair. It's not you know, intended to use on dry hair or semi-dry hair. So now that my hair is partially dry, I'm gonna just do the blow dry setting. So since this first layer of my hair is now dry, I'm gonna switch to the third setting, or the fourth, because the first one is off. Um, and that is the hot air brush. This is for heating the hair. It's using infrared ray and negative ion functions together for styling and finishing at 410 degrees. And I just wanna make a note, the back of my head and the front of my head are two different textures. This dries a heck of a lot straighter. Um, it's like a light wave, but the back of my head is very curly. There's a potential I may have to straighten it even because that's just my normal texture, it's crazy. But what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead in on this fourth setting, which you'll hear there's no air involved because there's no blow dry setting. This is just the infrared and negative ions to heat up. Um, so it's like straight using a straightener, same thing. All right, and now that the first section is done, I am going to loosely put it into a little um, scrunchie just so that I can keep the sections separate. I don't wanna like put wet hair on top of my dry hair and then have it get damp again. So I just tie that off. I look beyond crazy and then we're gonna take this down and do the exact same thing. I'm gonna start with the third setting which is the hot air and heat. And then once it starts to get dry again, I'm gonna switch it to the blow dry. And once it's fully dry, I will Straighten. Okay, my hair is pretty dry, so I'm gonna switch to that second setting, which is, I always forget the name of it, the low speed air, which is just the hair dryer, just to finish it up, and then I'm gonna use the hot air brush to, to give it some, you know, styling at the end.
Okay, so now my hair is dry. It's seriously only been five minutes since I started this top layer. And before I go in with the um, hot air uh, tool and like just, you know, give it that blowout flips and all that, the styling, I'm actually gonna put a couple hair products in first just because my hair is such a bizarre texture anyway. It's so curly and weird. It gets super frizzy when I use any hot tool at all, especially a hair dryer. I'm just gonna use two very awesome products that I love whenever I'm using hot tools on my hair and then I will have a much more tamed situation here. Okay, so the first thing I always do when I get out of the shower and dry my hair is use a little bit of this Moroccan oil treatment. This is an oil, it smells absolutely amazing, I love this thing. But if you're gonna use an oil, I just really want a heed warning to use a very small amount, especially on dry hair, you can use a little bit more when it's wet, but I have extremely thick hair and I'm only gonna use like a little dime size, like this is plenty. So I'm just gonna rub that through my hands, my palms, and then put this through my hair and it's gonna make it a little less um, puffy. A little frizzy. So let's do bottoms first. It smells so good. Okay, and then as your hands start to get drier from like la lack of oil, meaning it's dispersing through your hair, you can start to go up higher. But just don't smack this onto your, like the middle of your hair right here because you'll end up with like a huge spot of oil and I really don't even know how you'll get that out, honestly. All right, so this is already giving my hair so much more taming. It's looking so good. I don't even really need to use too much of the straightening portion of the, um, the brush today because it just did a really good job with the first two settings, the hot air and um, heat setting and the low air setting. Wow, oh, it looks so good. I'll use the, um, the hot air setting to give my bangs more of that blowout flip. I think that's like the best portion, the best like way to use that tool, that, that setting. Okay, now that the oil's off my hands and in my hair, I'm gonna go in with one more product, and that is the Living Proof Defrizz Instant, like Instant Defrizzer Spray. This just gives my hair a little less puff as well. Um, when you stick it through your hair and brush it, it always tames it a little bit too. If you have thinner hair, you probably don't need both of these. I recommend an oil just to keep your uh, ends from splitting, but the Defrizz Spray is great if you have like really frizzy or puffy hair or just overly thick hair that starts to get crazy. Okay, now that I'm styled, like I said, I'm gonna use that fourth setting on the brush to go in and give some of my layers a little bit of flipping and then it's gonna be all done. So I'm gonna take my bangs, give those some curls. The setting is also really good if you just like wait a minute and let it like really heat up. Um, which I'm obviously not doing right now, but see it's it's like not quite hot yet So I might just like pause for a second and then get going with it Okay, I gave it a second to heat up and I'm just gonna do exactly what you just saw me do before Take my bangs I'm gonna go under because I want them to flip out and Just slowly give that some guidance And then bam I have that blowout flip right there and then I like my hair to flip in. I don't like like the outward flip. That's totally personal preference. But so I'm gonna go with this tool on the underside of my hair and kind of give it some curving in. See, like that. You can also just like run over your whole head, obviously like I was doing on the first layer of my hair, just to add some more straightening mine like really doesn't need it it honestly is already so straight it looks so good it looks so healthy and so shiny from using this tool give some curves some flips on this side and then the bangs here Ta -da. Okay, you guys, so that is how I got this look here today. As I mentioned, I don't like a crazy flippy look. Um, I do have like one set of layers minus my bangs, and that's why I have like the little bit of wave, which I absolutely love. But otherwise, it's mostly just curved in, and I just think it looks so good. It's so styled, it's so quick and easy. It does uh, everything you need. 
in about half the time it normally would. Um, so for me, with my thick hair, it can take me like upwards of 40 minutes to blow dry my hair when it's damp, and that is no exaggeration. My arms feel like they're gonna fall off when I do that. But with this thing, my hair is fully, fully completed and looking like this within 15 minutes. If I, you know, I'm going somewhere, so I really tried to make it look super nice and, you know, really shiny and sleek and straight, but if I just wanna dry my hair with this thing and get it done, I'm done in like less than 10 minutes. Like I've never imagined that I could do that in my life. So thank you, Lena, again for saving me. You did the same thing with the Genie Curl. You're just honestly upgrading my well-being. You're making me a brand new woman and I live for that. Um, one thing I did not mention before that I wanna say is that this is ETL certified with an ALCI safety plug for protection and safe use. So as well as the fact that like, like I mentioned, this is all safe. You can touch this, you're never gonna burn yourself. It's just not made in a way that can hurt you. It's also a good old safe plug, so this is just all around a very high quality safe product to use. Um, same goes for the Genie Curl and I'm sure all of their other products. So I love that about Lena as well. So. As always, you guys, I've mentioned this I think already before in the video, but please, if you have any questions, comments, concerned, as always, you can leave me a comment below in um, in the chat section. What am I saying? Uh, just below. Or reach out to me on Instagram in my DMs at Nikki Marigus, N-I-K-I-M-A-R-A-G-O-S. It's a long one. Um, and I'm excited for this year. I have a new video coming out very soon about some products that I think you need for 2021 that you most likely don't know exist. So get ready for that. And uh, if you guys have any other suggestions, please leave me a comment below. Um, love you all so much. Appreciate the continued support as always. And I will talk to you huh, in the next one. <laughs> wow, that was a good hair flip. Huh.